It's been one heck of an exciting day for tech fans all around the world. AMD has just unleashed all of their new CPUs that are coming to market. I'm talking about the brand new Zen 3 CPUs. I almost feel sorry for Intel. Almost. Let's talk tech. Okay, so AMD this morning announced all of their latest Zen 3 CPUs, and it's been quite a journey because back in 2016, AMD originally announced that they're gonna have their Ryzen CPUs and Zen was coming to market. Now, during that time, the last five years, they've taken their CPUs from 12 nanometer all the way down to seven nanometers. That's just an incredible jump. And they've also said that Zen 4 is coming as well. They also talked about, you know, being in the latest PlayStation, the latest Xbox, but I think everybody knew that already. What's really exciting news though, is that all of the new Zen 3 processors just sound great. And they start off coming to market at about $399 and go all the way up to $800 for their top of the line models. Now, some interesting stuff is this though. In the battle between AMD and Intel, it's really mostly been about, hey, single core performance. You know, how well does the AMD CPU do in single core performance? Well, now AMD is saying that they are even beating Intel's top of the line i9 CPU in single core performance. And that has been really the thing that I've heard most users in the forums and stuff say that that was the only really reason that they were continuing to use an Intel CPU over an AMD CPU is because in single threaded stuff, Intel was still winning. But according to what we saw today, what AMD is basically saying is that across the board, you're seeing 19% better performance in their desktop CPUs. Now, that alone is pretty, pretty incredible stuff. But they're also saying things like up to 30% almost better performance in some games in 1080. And that's just simply incredible. They showed off a few of the games, they showed off some of the scores from the event. AMD is also beating Intel in Cinebench in the R3 benchmarks. Their score with the 5800X is 631 versus Intel's 544. And things get even crazier when we're talking about the 5950X. You're getting almost, this is crazy, 59% better performance than what Intel has on the market now. Holy freaking crap. That's going to be painful for Intel. And as you can see from what they're showing, these numbers just look incredible. I mean, honestly, if all these numbers pan out to be true and there's no hype in this whatsoever, and honestly, I'm really thinking that AMD is not overhyping this. There's no reason to hold uh, you know, an event like this and spread stuff all around the world that's complete hype. I know that some people kind of like said that that's what happened with, you know, the NVIDIA release, but I'm really thinking that AMD is not going to do that. I think that the numbers are going to be pretty true and pretty accurate because I really just don't think they're going to come out and just blow smoke up all of our butts and say this stuff. But there was just really crazy stuff that's going on. And the CPUs, even though their entry-level CPUs coming to market at about $399, I think that what you're going to see and the performance for this particular CPU, it's gonna make a lot of people go, dang, I really want that CPU. But I know there's some people out there who are gonna be like, wow, man, I can really only afford to buy like a five or $600 system. So I know, you know, for those people, that's still gonna be out of their price range. But for people who are trying to build a mid-level system and keep their system in the thousand dollar range, I think you're gonna be able to build a pretty nice system around that new CPU. Now, like I said, there's four new models that are coming to market and here's what they are. First up, we have an entry-level CPU that is the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. Now, this is going to be a six-core, 12-thread CPU. It's gonna require 65 watts of power, which is really nice. It has a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz, a boost clock of up to 4.6 gigahertz. It has 32 megabytes of level two and level three cache. 
It comes with a Wraith Stealth Cooler. It'll be released on November 5th, and it's only $299. Next up, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 5800X. Now this is going to be an eight core, 16 thread CPU, requires 105 watts, a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz, a boost clock of 4.7 gigahertz. It also has 36 megabytes of L2 and L3 cache. It's going to come into market at $449 and it'll also be released on November 5th. Next up, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. 12 cores, 24 threads, still at 105 watts. Base clock of 3.7 gigahertz. A boost clock up to 4.8 gigahertz and 70 megabytes of level two and level three cache. It's gonna to come to market at $549 once again on November 5th. Now the really big news though is there are top of the line new TPU. I mean, this thing's crazy. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, 16 cores, 32 threads, still at 105 watts. 3.4 gigahertz on the base clock, but up to 4.9 gigahertz on the boost. 72 megabytes of level two, level three cache. $799 also coming on November 5th. One of the main things that AMD really also talked about in their event was power efficiency. They're saying that now the power efficiency of the CPUs is 24% better than it used to be. And this is also going to trickle now into the laptop market. AMD has clearly announced that they're going to have a bunch of laptops with their new you know, CPUs in them. So that's going to be really interesting. Intel currently right now is dominating the laptop market but we know that AMD has been creeping into this market, you know, slowly but surely. And if these laptops come out and everything's as good as they say, it's once again going to put a dent in Intel's market. I mean, Intel probably right now is probably just going, what the frack is going on? Because really, I think for the first time ever, Intel has been completely bent over by AMD. I mean, AMD has literally turned Intel into their with this launch and it's really, really crazy. Um, personally, I'm gonna try to get my hands on every one of the different CPUs. Obviously, um, I'll be buying these myself. You guys know I don't take AMD samples, so I'll be buying these myself and testing them out, but I look forward to purchasing them and having the whole user experience. And, 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 check this out. For the very first time at this event, they actually have released some of the new big Navi numbers. Now they've showed a couple of games at 4K with everything to its max and the numbers just look absolutely great. So if this really pans out to be true, it looks like a combination between the Zen 3 CPUs and the brand new Radeon cards is going to be a match made in heaven. It'll be totally PCIe 4.0 across the board so hopefully we're gonna see performance numbers that are just really going to rock. They even showed us a picture of the new Big Navi card and it looks really nice. Has three nice fans across the front. The entire design looks really clean. Now this is probably obviously going to be what we're going to see first. This is an aftermarket version, but so far it looks good and so do the numbers. I can't wait till October 28th. What about you guys? But that's it, tech fans. AMD's announcement, November 5th, all of these CPUs will be available. From you know entry-level pricing all the way up to $800, you've got a lot of choices there. I know there's gonna be a lot of new motherboards probably coming out. There's gonna be a lot of new products around this, so expect a lot of reviews from all of us tech you know, people out here on, on, on the YouTube area doing reviews on this stuff. It's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I plan on pre-ordering as much as I can so I can get my hands on those CPUs, like I said. Exciting stuff. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys totally excited about these new processors? I mean, I really am. I can't wait to get my hands on them and test them. I know that a lot of you fans out there are really AMD fans and you're rooting for Team Red. Well, guess what? I think your rootin' tootin' is going to come to fruitation with this launch 
Um, I'm hoping it's everything that they said in their announcement. I really do. I honestly hope that AMD strikes Intel down and makes Intel rethink their situation and quit sitting on their freaking laurels and make some gosh darn new CPUs that are competitive. Intel, it's time to make a change because right now, this is what AMD is doing to you. Anyways, folks, I'll have links down below. If you like my take on stuff, you wanna to sub to the channel, hey, make sure you turn on that notification bell, otherwise you won't know that I'm making videos. If you wanna support the channel, hey, try Amazon Prime for free for 30 days. It helps me. You can watch movies, get free shipping and cancel it at the end of 30 days, and we all win. So peace out, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for guess what? Well, more tech.